For a little bit of backstory, I figured we'd go with Yugi Pony. So now we have Yugi Welcome Pony's backstory. Welcome to a backstory. very special episode of What to Watch. A 3K I subspecial. Have two updates for everyone. First off, this is going to be the very last episode of What to Watch. I just really don't feel like this series is improving my career in any way. Eh. Let's face it, I suck at reviewing. Tch. Update number two, I just I reached 3,000 subscribers. I have no idea Thank what Thank you guys playing. so much. Since I'm not able to live stream anymore due to my computer breaking down recently, so I decided to tell you guys Yugi Pony's backstory for my 3,000 sub special. And yes, I'm going to be calling him Yugi Pony to avoid sounding like I'm referring to myself as a third person. <laughs> I wish I could have this story animated, but hiring animators would be too expensive. So enjoy the Watch Dogs gameplay. Oh, that's it it all started when Yugi Pony was this in like elementary school. He discovered this fun. new card game called Yu-Gi-Oh! advertised in a movie theater. Two days after that, he noticed a lot of his classmates playing the game. It looked really interesting to him. So he decided to buy his own starter deck. The one he got contained one of the two rarest cards in the game. The Blue Eyes White Dragon. Which he swiftly abandoned. For the record guys, this was before the Egyptian gods. Okay. During recess, this bully came up to Yugi Pony and said, Hey, I hear you have the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Can I see it? Yugi shows him the card and then yoink, the bully took it from him. Surprise, surprise, am I right? Yeah. He said, a card like this doesn't deserve to be in the hooves of a newbie. So Yugi Pony challenged him to a duel, and the bully accepted. This was Yugi Pony's very first duel, it's and unfortunately he backstory. lost. Blue Eyes White Dragon hmm. was now in the bully's deck. Then I got Yugi's it back. Yugi's best friend Didi told them about the upcoming tournament, but he wasn't interested due to him losing Blue <coughs> Eyes. Didi said to him, believe it or not, Blue Eyes is not the best card in the game. Then Yugi said, okay, what's more powerful than Blue Eyes? Then Didi showed him the five pieces of Exodia in his deck. And he said, mm. if you can win at least one duel against me, I'll let you borrow Exodia for the tournament. After losing 10 times against Didi, Yugi finally got his first victory. And as promised, he got to borrow Exodia. Yugi and Didi signed up for the tournament, and you'll never guess who else signed up. The same bully who took Yugi's blue eyes. What a twist. The bully walks up to him and said, I'm so glad you signed up. A newbie like you should make this tournament easier to win. Did you get any new cards out of a cereal box? <laughs> hey, <laughs> real funny, Fonzie. Ass. <laughs> to everyone's surprise, Princess Celestia was hosting this tournament. The winner of this tournament will win 500 bits. I think that's $500 in the real world. Eh. I'm not sure. The so equestrian young ponies yeah, played yeah. in this tournament. Yugi it, improved it on his duel skills like and made it to the final the round against the bully. But it, before it started, the mother of the bully wanted to talk to Yugi. Oh, she so said, I saw your dueling skills, and I gotta say, you're not too bad. You must really want those 500 bits, do you? And then she asked him, what if you won the money even if you lost? Dun, dun, dun. Yugi looks at her with confusion and said, that wouldn't make any sense. Then the mother of the bully writes him a check and says, look, I really want my son to win this tournament. I have a check here for 500 bits. It's all yours if you promise to lose on purpose. Huh. Yugi accepted the offer, but he wasn't too sure it was the right decision. The final duel started, and everyone noticed Yugi was playing poorly. Even the bully was questioning why he was playing weak monsters in attack mode while he had blue eyes on the field. Yugi was thinking long and hard about what he was doing, and he realized the game stopped being fun when he was trying to lose on purpose. Yugi exposed the mother by saying, <coughs> Ladies and gentle cults, I have a confession to make. I've been playing bad on purpose because Mother of Bully was bribing me with a 500 Mother of check. Bully? I realized something today. This game was not kind made to win money of, or um, become popular. Chaz it was made Aster. to be a fun card game. And if I'm gonna lose, I should at least have fun. So Mother of Bully, our deal is off. Rips up the Yuki check. Yuki uses his unicorn magic to tear the check in half. Yep. And boom. He got his cutie mark. 
It was the backside of a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Back to the duel, Yugi drew the final piece of Exodia and won the duel. The bully gave Blue Eyes back to Yugi and said, You've earned my respect. Then Celestia that was easy. up to him and said, Congratulations, you've won the first Yu-Gi-Oh tournament in Equestria. She gives him the prize money and says, Come with me, I have something else I'd like to give you. Celestia takes Yugi to one of her rooms in the castle. In this particular room, she has this collection of rare and ancient amulets. She takes a replica Someone of the Millennium say, Puzzle items. and casts yeah. a spell on it. And then she puts it around Yugi's neck. Oh, that's a Yugi nice asked, what was that spell you cast? She replied saying, the spell casted on this Millennium Puzzle will protect you from any evil type of spell such as mind control or sudden death. So why would Celestia give a child such a necklace you may ask? Well, she believes that Yugi Pony's dual strategy will one day save the world. And that is how Yugi Pony got his cutie mark in Millennium Puzzle. Huh. I hope you all enjoyed that story. Again, thank you all for 3,000 subscribers. I love you all, and I hope you guys are okay with me ending what to watch. I am Yugi Brown. I never watched it, and so I, I hope you know. enjoy manga. Though I guess if I, ha if I handle what to watch, it'd probably be that episode I missed where was the first round. Maybe I'll upload this on Friday instead, just so people can have backstory for the next one. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. Eh, I'll see what I do. It all, it's all up to me in the end, after all.